What's up guys, it's Lord Ryan. Today I have a YouTube video to kind of help y'all on uh, finding products to keep up with your older Jordans and older shoes. Uh, I decided to do this video because someone had commented in my previous video that they wanted to see how to apply the Angelus Leather Bomb and I figured that would just be like a 10 second video and why not just go out and uh, make a whole video over it. So the first thing I want to show y'all is if y'all have the original paper like so, uh, it does get yellow over time and it's good to actually find like a white t-shirt or a white towel and lay that in the box instead if you like that. Uh, it just helps with the discoloration, it'll help keep it non-discolored, it'll keep your bottoms nice and white. I'm not too sure about icy soles, over time those are just going to get oxidized and you're going to have to put like uh, some kind of sauce on the bottom of them to help uh, deoxidize. So that's first step, that's what I usually do. Uh, second one always use like odor eaters or some kind of like a shoe deodorant because over time they're just gonna get really smelly and stuff these for instance smell like smoke uh, if you use this don't spray too much in there because it will kinda leave like residue but just kinda spray a little bit in there it's always nice to keep them nice and smelling okay because if you leave them smelly that means there's something in there like a bacteria or something it's gonna like uh, deteriorate the insoles because I have seen where some people's insoles blow out on these and that's pretty much the end of the shoe. But besides that, if you keep up with a Jordan 1, these are going to last you forever because it's a rubber midsole, not a foam. It's not going to break apart on you or anything. Uh, the next step is a lot of people like to use like force fields or sneaker shields in their shoes. Me, on the other hand, I'm kind of cheap. So if I find a different way to do it, I'm definitely going to do it. As you can see, these are kind of creased, uh, but actually not too bad. And if you can see this... It's real firm, and what I do with these is I stuff them one. You can also use shoe trees for this, and this is my alternative to uh, sneaker shields and all that. What this is, is it's the little cardboard insert that comes in most Jordans. I just cut it, and I stick it in there, and I actually wear these with them. And I also, uh, when I decrease them, I actually leave these in there too. What I do is I just put them back when I'm done. Stick them all the way to the toe and insert this back in there just to keep it nice and firm. And when, if you ever need to decrease a shoe, be very careful when you do it. Do not just take an iron to the shoe because that will completely destroy it. What you're going to want to do is get a damp t-shirt, lay it over the area you're going to be ironing. Set the iron on cotton because you don't want it too, too hot and just go over it a couple times. It's going to take you a few times actually to get it actually good. But that's one way to decrease it. I'm trying to get through this video kind of quick because my battery's dying and I don't want to keep y'all watching this video for just how to keep up with your shoes. And the last method I use is the Angelus Leather Bomb, which is what I was talking about in my previous video. This right here, it, it's actually a very nice product. I was thinking it was just going to be kind of like a lotion. Uh, this is to keep your leather nice and supple. It's to keep your leather from cracking because overall leather is just animal skin and with our skin if we don't put lotion we don't hydrate it it gets ashy it starts to crack you know how it is uh, especially in the winter time so with this how you apply it is pretty easy you give it a little shake you put about a dime size on the on, I use a sock you can use a rag you can use whatever I use a sock and what you do is you just kinda rub it in you have to use circle motion just rub it in it's not hard at all uh, and that's pretty much it what you're gonna do is let it dry off and then whatever excess is on there you buff it out with the same sock I let it dry for about five minutes because I don't use a whole lot at the same time but if you're doing 2001 Jordans like I am anything without a new book swoosh you'll be fine just go ahead and hit up the whole shoe if you're doing the ones with the new book swoosh like I am you're going to want to avoid getting it onto the swoosh because the Angelus Leather Bomb is meant for leather and leather only. If you get it on here, it'll start to discolor and crack it. I'm sure y'all have seen 2001 Jordans where the swoosh is, uh, the new book swoosh is discolored, cracked, just completely worn to shit, and that's something you don't want to do to yours. So I avoid getting it on here. What I do is I usually get the Leather Bomb on my fingernail and kind of just go along the swoosh right here just so it doesn't get on it. And then I'll use the sock right there and kind of buff it in. But you definitely do not want to get it on here. 
that's going to be the hardest part with 2001 Jordans is keeping the swoosh nice and fresh looking. But you're going to want to do really, they sell new book and suede conditioners. You can use that. I use just an eraser and a suede brush. I just like to keep it clean. Uh, I mean, that's going to be definitely the hardest part. Uh, creasing is something that you can always control. You can always decrease. You can always help prevent creases. But the cracking of that new book swoosh is definitely the hardest. And with the 1985 breads, uh, this is going to be the worst because this right here will start to chip. That's what the leather balm is going to help you do. It's going to help keep the leather nice and supple, uh, nice, soft, all that good stuff. So, I mean, what that's going to do is just help it from cracking later on. It's going to help the leather last longer. I mean, these are a 14-year-old shoe, and they still look great. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much what I do to help keep these up. Uh, this is probably the oldest shoe I have. Oh, no, actually, I have a Jordan 10 from uh, 1994, which I actually did some touch-ups on not that long ago. I do the same with this leather bomb to the whole shoe since it's all leather. Uh, I've touched it up with Angelus white paint. I didn't use the, the flat white, I just used regular white. Came out okay. It was just because the glue was coming out, the paint was starting to fade. I just touched up small parts of it. But with this one, it's the same thing. It's a rubber sole, so it's not going to fall apart on you. Uh, there will be some separation later on in time. The Air Jordan 1 is stitched in, so there won't be any separation if you take care. But uh, this is how I keep up with them, really. Both of this one has a Nike Air in there still, if you can even see that. The other one still has the Jumpman in it. Both of them very nice condition, and that's what I do to keep up with them. Uh, those I don't do, like the whole sneaker shield thing in those, just because they were pre-creased when my dad gave them to me from when he was in high school. Uh, these, on the other hand, I like to keep them nice because I dropped a pretty penny for them. But, I am getting a 2013 pair bred. I really wanted an 01 to match. So if anybody has a 2013 Jordan 1 Royal who would want to swap for a 2001, I will do that trade. Just uh, hit me up on here, hit me up on Instagram, anywhere really, and we can talk something out. This one has OG all, even receipts. But for now, I'm fine keeping it just because I have them. Uh, I do want to get the 2013, so if I end up selling them off, I'm going to sell them for the price I can get a 2013 pair at. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now, guys. Uh, Angelus, I'm going to leave them my link on the bottom. Go ahead and hit that one up. It helps me out uh, by using my referral link. Buy some stuff. The, the leather bomb, I think, is I think it's uh, $7. So, I mean, it's not too bad. It's going to help your shoe out. It'll last you a long time, too, because you don't use a whole lot of the leather bomb at a time. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's going to help condition the leather, use it, make it really nice. But that's about it for today, guys. I'm going to be getting a pickup in tomorrow, which I'm going to have to do a story on because it, it was a problem pretty much. So I'm going to do a video tomorrow when I pick those up. And the 2013 breads I'm supposed to be buying on Friday, but those will have to be shipped out to me like on Monday. So I'll be doing a video on those as well. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Lord underscore Ryan. And I'll catch you all next time. Thanks.